ChatGPT is out to get our jobs, right? Working in the tech space is pretty scary at the current moment. Everywhere I look, people are questioning if this is the year AI will finally replace us all. I mean, just look at this poll we recently did on Twitter. Although 47% of people think that AI will never fully replace us, there is still a whopping 53% who aren't so sure. But even if you are one of those who thinks that AI is going to take our jobs, I have to tell you that that is the wrong attitude. Don't act like one of those people who freaked out when the internet was created because it was going to take all of our jobs. Be one of those who saw that there was a new technology and that meant a new world of full skills to learn and opportunities to seize. The first one we're going to talk to you about today is prompt engineering. Prompt engineers control and refine a language model's output. They guide the AI's learning process by helping it achieve better results and most importantly they help you create more accurate and reliable AI systems as a whole. You've probably heard all that before and it sounds pretty fancy right? Prompt engineering. Well, wrong. At a high level, prompt engineering is just about using the right words to get the results you want. It's pretty simple, in fact you already do it every day. When you order something at McDonald's, do you go to the cash register and just say food? No, you'd say, I'd like a six pack of McNuggets with a Diet Coke and a sweet and sour, please. Here's my credit card. You were descriptive, you added context so that the cashier would understand exactly what you were asking for, and thereby increase the likelihood that you would in fact get what you wanted. The word engineering here probably makes a lot of you think that this is some coding heavy thing, but it's not. There's really no coding involved. If you've ordered food at McDonald's and the cashier gave you exactly what you expected, then at some level you are, in fact, already a prompt engineer. So don't believe others that say prompt engineering is this scary, complicated thing. Sure, prompt engineering can get complicated when you get really advanced, but here at ZTM, we love the 80-20 principle. Focus on the 20% that will give you the 80% of the benefits. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Teach you the 20% of prompt engineering that you need to know right now. Before diving any deeper, let's break down what prompt engineering is exactly. We will use ChatGPT as an example to represent a language model since just about everyone has heard of it and knows what it is by now. To begin, the prompt is the user-generated input to the model, or in other words, the text that you type into the text box when asking ChatGPT anything. The language model then infers a completion to your prompt. For example, if I were to type in, is the earth flat or round into the text box, the language model will likely respond with, the earth is round, or more specifically, an oblite spheroid. At least that's what I would hope. In this case, the question, is the earth flat or round, is the prompt, and the response, the earth is round, or more specifically, an oblite spheroid, is the completion. Now prompting is the process of using prompts to extract a desired response from the model. To put it in the simplest terms, prompting is basically the equivalent of asking the chat interface a question and receiving a response. By providing well thought and concise prompts, you can generate more accurate and relevant outputs from the language model, which ultimately unlocks the model's full potential, and that is something I want you to remember. The better the prompt, the better the result you'll get. Last but not least, prompt engineering is the entire process all encompassed into one. That means creating and optimizing prompts to instruct the model to perform a task. Think of prompt engineering as a building bridge between a user's input and the desired output of a language model. Just like how a bridge connects two land masses over a body of water, prompt engineering connects a user's request, input, or question to the response generated by a language model. In the case of a bridge, it has to be well constructed and well designed to ensure a sufficient flow of traffic. The same goes for prompt engineering. The only difference is that instead of designing and building bridges, we are optimizing prompts to ensure a superior flow of information. Now that we know what a prompt is and what prompt engineering is at a high level, let's go over an example of basic prompting to really help cement the concept. If you were to enter this prompt into ChatGPT, you may get an output or a completion as follows. Now, does that mean that what you wrote is incorrect? No, but as the chatbot itself stated, there seems to be context that is missing. What if we instead type this? then you will most likely get a response that is what you were expecting in the first place. By instructing the model to complete the sentence, we were able to obtain a more refined outcome that closely adheres to the specifications we provided. This method of crafting optimal prompts to instruct the model to perform a task is what is referred to as prompt engineering. Now obviously this is a very simple example, but hopefully you're starting to get the picture. Another thing that is vital is prompt formatting, which refers to the way in which a prompt is structured or organized. 
Generally speaking, a standard prompt has two formats. The first one is a question, and the second one is an instruction. If you remember from before, we used an instruction which was to complete the sentence. You can also use something like this, which is referred to as the classic QA format. This type of prompting is also considered zero-shot prompting. You are providing a prompt to the model without any prior examples or demonstrations of the specific task or output that you are seeking from it. In other words, you are not providing any context or guidance to the model for generating an appropriate response. This concept is important to keep in mind because not all models are created equal, and not all of them have the capability to perform zero-shot prompting, especially on very complex and detailed topics. Outside of zero-shot prompting, we also have a concept that is referred to as few-shot prompting. Few-shot prompting is a technique in which a language model is fine-tuned on a small amount of additional training data. Typically, a few examples or prompts are in order to improve its performance on a specific task. I'll give you an example of this. Let's say you worked at a big fancy movie studio. Look at you. And you're launching the new Marvel movie. You need to present a report to your boss all about how the critics have responded to your movie. So you want ChatGPT to take in all the reviews and classify each one as negative, positive, or neutral. But ChatGPT doesn't necessarily know what I consider a positive, negative, or neutral review. So first, we're going to give ChatGPT some reviews and tell it what to classify them as. These are three reviews I'm going to use as an example. Fun fact, all of these reviews I'm using in this video are actually reviews from Avengers Infinity War. And now, I'm going to classify them as negative, positive, or neutral. Following that, I'm going to add the instructions into my prompt. Great, so now we've trained ChatGPT on what we want it to do and can start feeding it our reviews. As you can see, it's able to classify our reviews now, but that's pretty basic. I'm lazy and I want ChatGPT to do it all for me. So let's have it tally the results and put it into a table for me as well. And this is one of the reasons I think that these language models are so special. They have the ability to learn what you want them to do with just a little help. It took me two years to remember how to center a div the correct way, so yeah, you can say I'm pretty impressed. So we have answered what prompt engineering is, seen some examples, talked about prompt formatting, now I want to provide you with some general tips for designing your own prompts. And the first one is to keep things simple. When creating prompts, it's important to remember that it's a trial and error process that requires a lot of experimentation to achieve optimal results. Begin with basic prompts and gradually add details and context to improve your results. It's crucial to continually iterate your prompt as you go along, because believe it or not, sometimes the most simple and concise prompts can lead to better outputs. Tip number two is to use standard keywords when given instructions to models, such as write, classify, summarize, translate, and so on. But like I mentioned before, the name of the game is experimentation. Try different keywords, context, and data to see what works best for your particular use case or task. An example of using a keyword may look something like this. Tip number three, be very specific about the instructions you're providing to the model. 99% of the time, the more descriptive and detailed your prompt is, the better. But there is a fine line, because providing unnecessary details will do no good either. So it's very important to only provide information that is relevant to the task at hand. And lastly, tip number four, avoid telling the model what not to do, but instead focus on being more descriptive on what it should do. This will lead to more specific and accurate responses from the model. An example of what not to do would look something like this. And here is a better way to do it. Hopefully these tips will help you create the best prompts possible to truly optimize the model's output. But before I wrap this video up, I want to leave you with four final takeaways. Number one, prompt engineering allows us to optimize the performance of a language model by allowing it to achieve more accurate and more relevant responses, which ultimately unlocks the model's full potential. Number two, prompt engineering is an iterative process, meaning you will always be experimenting and testing new formats, keywords, and elements to see what works best for the task at hand. Remember, it's all trial and error. Number three, when creating prompts, sometimes less is more. What I mean by this is that there is no need to include random non-essential information that has very little to no impact on the actual problem. And lastly, number four, prompt engineering is the way of the present and the future. Language models are not going anywhere. If anything, they will keep advancing and continue making remarkable breakthroughs. So it's vital now more than ever to stay up to date with this new AI technology and not get left behind in this rapidly evolving industry. If you found this video helpful, we'd love if you'd hit that like button to show your support. Even better if you leave a comment. Think I missed something? Have any fun prompts that you have used for work or your personal life? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, and happy prompting.